Three is not looking real good. It's looking really, really sparse. This is a coast live oak. It is an evergreen tree. It should be nice and full and dense, but it's not. It's really sparse. Those over there are more appropriate. This is the same type of tree and you can see how sparse the difference is in between the two trees. So we've got a real hostile environment and I see that there's a, an old wall here so this may have been like this for a long time. Well, this is the adjacent tree and it's also in really rough shape and it's pretty easy to see why. You have two driveways on either side of it. This one's fairly new. This one is new. So the roots were extremely impacted. Things were cut. There's hardly any growing space and the tree is in decline. So I I'm going to guess that this tree has probably only got another five to ten years at the very most. Sometimes it takes a really long time for these trees to die. But when you see such a hostile environment and the tree has so much dieback, those are the first signs that it's going downhill. And people are always asking me, what can you do to fix it? How can you make my tree healthy? Can you fertilize it? Can you this? Can you that? And the truth be known that, you know, when a tree suffers as much impact to its root system, you, you can't replace roots. You can't, you, you may be able to baby it along for a long time, but in some cases it's best just to leave well enough alone. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend spending a lot of money on this tree. And sadly, it kind of goes for this one as well. I don't want to give up on it. There's a fair amount of deadwood up there, but what does this tree really need? Um, it needs foliage. It needs green foliage. It needs a lot of foliage. On the positive side, it is springtime and there's a lot of new growth coming out, but it should be dense and full, like I said, like the neighboring tree over there. So I think what I'm going to recommend is to hold off on doing anything for a while and see how this tree responds. And if it fills out, then we can get up there and clean out the dead bits. But um, truth be known, Taking out the deadwood does not improve the health of the tree. It does make it a little bit safer because those dead pieces can fall out. So it's a good idea, but I'd rather see this tree respond and fill out a little bit more before we put a lot of effort into maintaining it. Because it could certainly turn the corner. It could go downhill as easy as it could get a little bit better. 